I'm here to tell you about something you've probably never heard of, that nobody's ever seen, and that we know almost nothing about, yet without which you wouldn't exist. In the dark corners of the universe lurks a type of matter so secretive, so invisible, that we only see how it affects the movements of massive galaxies. We can't see it because it doesn't reflect or emit light, but this matter makes up a vast amount of the universe. Physics can explain everything from the smallest atoms to the largest superclusters. Yet all of this represents only 15% of the matter in the universe. The other 85%, the, the, uh, the cosmic seeds that birthed all the beauty we see in the universe today, including you, is dark matter. As a theoretical particle physicist, I want to know what dark matter is, where it came from, and how it behaves. In the models that I study, dark matter particles that wander too close to each other can gobble each other up, annihilating and producing two new particles called leptoquarks. Leptoquarks are rare, heavy particles that, if we were to find them, could not only help us understand dark matter, but could also move us closer to a theory of everything with a single unifying mother force. Now, leptoquarks are too big to stick around for long, and they quickly fragment into regular matter particles and radiation. These fragments are the key to piecing together a picture of dark matter. Now, while we can't see dark matter, detecting the regular matter and radiation it fractures into isn't a problem. In neighboring galaxies, like Andromeda, with lots of dark matter, these uh, annihilations would happen all of the time and we would get incriminating particle debris on Earth, which we can pick up with satellites and telescopes. Now, much like the pieces of a broken plate would look different than those of a broken vase, these particle remnants provide an incriminating fingerprint of the dark matter that they came from. It's my job to put the pieces back together and craft a portrait of dark matter. Now, while I would love to tell you that this is the answer, I have to be honest, this idea is only one of many possibilities. So why keep studying these fundamental mysteries? Einstein had his own perspective on this. He admonished, curiosity has its own reason for existence. One cannot help but to be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity. It's enough to simply comprehend a little of this mystery each day. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.